Welcome back. I'm Jason, and this is Drinking and Gaming Episode 4. Today we're back on the Wii U with a typical Nintendo nostalgia classic, Mario Kart 8. One of my personal favorite game franchises of all time, the Mario Kart series manages to consistently be excellent despite essentially being the exact same game with new tracks since Mario Kart 64. Over the years, they've added anti-gravity, motion controls, and hang gliding, but it essentially remains the same classic game in a good way. I've been playing this one split-screen with my girlfriend, and the level of frustrated profanity that she and I have dropped in this apartment could make a sailor blush. Mario Kart is one of those games that you keep going back to no matter how many times it screws you over. <sighs> Since the advent of the blue turtle shell, which automatically kills whoever is in first place, usually at the end of a perfectly executed third lap, the series has become notorious for sticking it to the player and still somehow managing to be fun. It's the cute and funny but ultimately abusive husband of the Nintendo library. In order to relax a bit and calm the rage of being taken out by baby Mario on the last lap, you're going to need a drink. And today, in honor of the Mushroom Kingdom's iconic monarch, Princess Peach, the only fictional character to be kidnapped more than Jack Bauer's daughter, we're playing Mario Kart 8 with Dogfish Head's Festina Peach. Dogfish Head is a microbrewery from Delaware known for adding fun and exotic ingredients to their recipes. In fact, they do this so often that the brewers were featured on a short-lived Discovery Channel show called Brewmasters, where they traveled the world looking for strange new ingredients to make inventive new beers. And while they are known for making beers with alcohol contents that rival a stiff whiskey soda, today's beer comes in at a relatively low 4.5% alcohol by volume. Keep in mind, you are driving a car in this game. Festina Peach is a Berliner Weiss brewed with peaches. Now that style is known for being cloudy with a reddish hue and a sour bite. In Germany, where the style originated, a beer made outside of Berlin may not call itself a Berliner Weiss. But in other parts of the world, most notably the US and Canada, the style has been picking up in popularity and they don't really care about Germany's brewing rules. In fact, in Germany, dating back to 1487, the German beer purity law states that beer can only be made containing yeast, grain, water, and hops. And while it has been slightly amended over the years, to this day, any drink containing other ingredients must call itself something other than beer. But Festina Peach is American and doesn't give a shit. It's from Delaware, it's got fruit in it, and ich bin ein Berliner Weiss. But the fruit addition isn't a complete disrespect to the style. To cut down on the strong sour bite and get around the purity law, Berliner Weiss is often served by adding fruit syrups directly to the beers. That traditional sour bite of this East Coast offering makes it one of our hard game appropriate sip and savor beers with mid to low alcohol. You aren't going to get a buzz off of this beer and screw up your drifting ability. But a few sips might take the edge off of being bumped off the edge by Donkey Kong. This particular beer is light, so it's only produced in the warm months. This will make it hard to find this winter. But you should be able to find a few straggler bottles before the fall ends, and it should start popping up shortly after the release of the 2015 Spring DLC pack. So, if you can't find one now, just track down a Festina Peach next May or June, just in time to play the eight new tracks and Cuss out the villager from Animal Crossing for covering your screen with ink blots. I'm Jason, and this has been another episode of Drinking and Gaming. Cheers!